Gil Dares is driving to the workshop at what's called the store next door. He's the general manager of the Mariner Center in Yarmouth, and he's bringing in a truck full of old, broken hockey sticks. Garbage to many, but this is as good as gold in these parts. I bundled them up and brought them down, and um, like the very next day they called looking for more. So they've got, you know, I think it's it really it's an insatiable appetite for hockey sticks. As soon as they unload them, they go to work. First job, put plugs in them so they can be screwed into what will be hockey stick furniture. It doesn't get any more Canadian than this. What do you like about this job? Everything. It's a job that I learn. What will this be used for? Probably a shelf or um, a table. Oh, I didn't know that. Gage Kroll is the project leader. His biggest problem, filling the back orders and finding a steady supply of old hockey sticks. You need more hockey sticks, which in Canada seems like that's impossible. Right. That's, that's the way we're thinking, right? This is, it's our country sport. Um, you wouldn't think that you would have a hard job finding sticks. Now, they never knew their hockey stick furniture would be a hit. It wasn't until an American tourist bought a piece and posted it on Facebook that orders started pouring in. It blew up. It did blow up, and then we expanded our line a little bit, and uh, we're looking to expand even further. Um, we just need the sticks to do it. The guys that help to build everything from hockey beds to hockey end tables are excited. Their hockey stick furniture is a huge hit. So it's really, really good to you know, do something like this for people. This whole endeavor, this whole enterprise is amazing. This, uh, the workshop they have here, and the furniture that there, it's, it's so innovative. It's so. Nice, that every week you come down you expect a new product. They hope the supply of old hockey sticks continues. There are beds to be made and back orders to fill. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Yarmouth.